I know, just rocked up to the workshop. Um, I've got a couple of days now where I can get stuck into it. So, plan is today, uh, probably got to rip the fuel tanks out of the boat. Um, it does have some aftermarket fuel tanks in there. Um, a lot of the bracing's been removed, so I'm going to go pull the fuel tanks today, give them a good clean out, um, pop the senders out and just have a look at what the tanks are like and we'll start from there and then also have to cut a lot of the uh um all the rest of the flooring out so we'll uh get into that first and see how we go started to do this this job is getting bigger and bigger the aftermarket fuel tanks there's a 500 litre or 450 litre apparently on either side so with these out it doesn't, doesn't look like they're uh, mounted in any special way so I'll take these out first take the sender unit out and give these a good clean out and we've also got to cut the rest of this flooring out so hopefully we can get that done today and we'll make a start on it. fuel tanks clear. I think now I might just pop the sender units out and check if there's any fuel in them and then work out how we're going to sling them up to get them out of here. That's the next step. Rip these puppies out. Right, oh, there's still a heap of fuel left in these tanks so we're just going to hook up the motor fuel lines um, and try and siphon some of this stuff out into a bulky. Let's get rid of some weight out of these tanks so I can pull them out. Get that sucker on there. Come on, you dog. Right. See how much fuel is left in that dog. Still going. Yuck. This tank here is finally empty. 
Righto, this one here over here. Uh, starboard side is empty. So we're going to try to wrap this sling around. It's a big tank though. And uh, jam it down in through that gap down there. And hopefully pull it out with the forks. Let's go. Time to get both tanks are out now. Time to get in there and finish getting this floor out. Now the fuel tanks are out and got most of the floor up. There is some electrolysis pitting um, actually on the hull under the tanks. So I didn't want to have to do it, but now that we've got the tanks out, um, I'll cut all the cradles out all this cradle section, we'll take the ribs out, weld in some new plate and re-rib everything. I don't want to have to get back under here again, so. Unfortunately, make them all work for myself, but we'll do it proper. Hopefully we don't need to get into this hole after we're done with it. Keep ticking along. The next morning, um, yesterday we got the fuel tanks out and started to have a look at the bottom of this hull. Now, all the side walls and the tunnel and everything seem okay, but underneath the fuel tanks themselves, there's a heap of corrosion. Now, come in, cleaned it out last night, and we've got a pretty bad case of delamination in the alley um, all along this mid zone. You can see. sections like that uh, now there's over a strip of about two meters um, so really I don't have much of a choice but to, to cut out the two sections both sides under the tank um, and replace it with a new alley there's I thought about overplating it but <laughs> once it's gotten to this sort of condition there's not a lot else I can do apart from replace it so this job's getting bigger than Ben Hur already I thought it would be a quick um, take the tanks out and clean them out and put them back in but <sighs> anyway just add another job so first of all we're gonna try and lift the back of this cat up <laughs> and support it on the tunnel so I can actually get underneath and weld into new ones.
I've just blocked up the tunnel, so now I've got access underneath the keel here. Um, take these mud guards off next. Close look at what we gotta do. So underneath here there's a cover plate. Um, I'm gonna cut this plate off and underneath there's a seam weld between the two sheets, so that's what we're gonna join the new sheets into. Um, and then at least now I can get into the back of the transom if I need to beef the transom up. Um, and I'll have to access that section anyway to put the um, transducer mounts in or the fairing blocks. So, uh, yeah, one last bracket to cut out and I should have access to what I need to. That sucker right there. Well, we've cut out the yeah, starboard side outer skin. Um, now, I've cut just shy of 2.4. I'm not too sure yet if I can get the sheets in three metre lengths or not. So, we'll cut just shy of 2.4 tomorrow. We'll jump over on the other side and do the same thing. I don't want to cut both uh, sides out yet. Just the outside skin we'll do this internal skin um, once I've got the new piece and welded it on the outside because I don't want to really lose any more structure out of the boat just in case things start to move so tomorrow um, we'll do the same on the port side and then I'll have to wait till the alley rocks up to weld in those pieces um, but until then, I'll get cracking on the floor up top. Uh, I'll probably start cutting all the pieces, pressing up the corners, and hopefully get the floor deck in. Um, and I guess that's all I can do for now. Um, yeah, so bit by bit, we'll get through it, and hopefully can get this thing up and running by the end of the year. That's the goal. I was hoping I wouldn't come across uh, so much corrosion in that bottom section, but it's got to come out. So Anyway, see how we go. Tomorrow's a new day, and we'll tackle the other side. But until then, see you next week.